This year marks the 10-year anniversary since Apple introduced its first smartwatch series to the public. And as the tech giant prepares to unveil the iPhone 16, there's heightened anticipation for significant updates to its smartwatch lineup to mark the occasion. While the iPhone 16 series will undoubtedly steal the show, the company will introduce new watch models including the Apple Watch Series 10 and the Apple Watch Ultra 3. Here's what we know so far about the more premium Watch Ultra 3, including its design and potential features. It is unlikely that Apple will steer away from its iconic smartwatch design for this model, but according to Trendforce, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 is going to be bigger than the Watch Ultra 2, which already comes in at 1.93 inches. Trendforce's report at the back end of 2023 hinted that we could be treated to a 10% increase in display size from 1.93 inches to 2.12 inches. Although, more screen real estate is always welcome, especially when it comes to smaller devices like a smartwatch, this has raised some eyebrows amongst enthusiasts, with many pointing out the fact that the Watch Ultra 2 is already pretty hefty for a smartwatch and can sometimes feel too heavy on the wrist, so much so that it can be difficult to wear all of the time. So, unless Apple has found a way of increasing the size while reducing weight and the watch bezels, this might not be viewed as a positive upgrade by many potential users. Initially, it was believed that Apple was working on a Watch Ultra model with a micro-LED display, which would provide increased brightness, better contrast, and improved battery efficiency. However, these plans now appear to have been postponed indefinitely. Apple did work on micro-LED display technology for several years, but the project was scrapped in 2024, and there are no current plans for a micro-LED Apple Watch in the near future. But on the flip side, the company is rumored to be adopting a new low-energy OLED panel technology in the new Watch Series 10 models to further reduce the power consumption of its always-on display. If that's the case, it's unlikely that the company would use the technology in its latest Watch Series model without also bringing it to its latest Watch Ultra model. When the Apple Watch Ultra 2 debuted last year, it came with key new features such as a 50% brighter display, a faster S9 chip, a double tap gesture for interacting with the watch without touching the screen, on-device Siri, and increased internal storage. Unfortunately, the upcoming version of the device is unlikely to reach those lofty heights. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Ku has already warned Apple Watch fans that they should expect almost no hardware upgrades in the Apple Watch Ultra 3, and it seems that's exactly the case. That's hugely disappointing though, but obviously, there may be a reason for that. The Apple Watch Ultra 3 was expected to include improved health tracking capabilities, such as blood pressure monitoring and sleep apnea detection. The blood pressure monitoring feature will let users know if their blood pressure is trending upward, and will provide an option for users to note what they were doing when hypertension occurred. Specific blood pressure numbers will not be provided though, meanwhile, sleep apnea detection will use sleep history and breathing patterns to estimate whether someone suffers from sleep apnea, with the watch suggesting that users contact a doctor if so. However, a current legal battle with a health tech firm based in California called Massimo could postpone those plans. This is because Massimo has claimed that Apple's blood oxygen monitoring feature, which debuted with the Apple Watch Series 6, relies on technology owned by them. That feature has remained present in every Apple Watch since, despite Massimo filing the lawsuit in 2021, claiming it violated their patents. It led to Apple agreeing to disable blood monitoring features on their watches until further notice. That legal battle is still rumbling on, so, unless a workaround is found by Apple, any new features that rely on that same technology will likely not be present in the Apple Watch Ultra 3 or any other Apple Watch for that matter. Moving on, despite Ming-Chi Ku's claim that the Apple Watch Ultra 3 will come with no hardware upgrades, Mark Gurman has said that the upcoming device will feature a new processor to succeed the S9 chip found in the Watch Ultra 2, which could lay the groundwork for some AI enhancements down the road. One thing we can be sure of 
is that the new premium Apple Watch will run Watch OS 11, the latest version of the Apple Watch operating system. Apple previewed the software during WWDC in June, and users can expect a range of updates and improvements, such as additional smart stack widgets, check-in for messages and workouts, a vitals app to view key health metrics, a translate app, a new Apple Pay feature called Tap to Cash, training load for workouts, additional workout types, more customizable activity rings, and more. As for the color options, Apple currently offers the Apple Watch Ultra 2 in the same natural titanium color as the first generation model. Prior to the launch of the second generation model, some rumors suggested that Apple could release a new darker color option, but that obviously didn't happen. However, we know that Apple originally designed a dark ceramic back for the first generation Apple Watch Ultra, which was never released, and Mark Gurman said in 2023 that it was possible the dark finish could be released for a later model. Previously, the high-end edition model of the Apple Watch Series 7 was available with a space black titanium case, and Ming Chi Kuo believes that if production yields meet expectations, a new dark case color option could be made available, so there is hope that this color option might finally arrive for the Watch Ultra 3. As for when we might see the upcoming premium smartwatch, we expect it to be launched later this year in September, alongside the iPhone 16 series. That's despite earlier reports which suggested that it is unlikely Apple will release an upgraded Watch Ultra in 2024, due to the company needing more time to develop innovative health management features. Things appear to have changed since then though, so we should definitely see the new premium smartwatch later this year. In terms of pricing, unless Apple has been successful in keeping any major upgrades under wraps until now, it's difficult to see a scenario where they increase the price from $799, which was the cost of the first two generations of the Apple Watch Ultra. Given there are currently no significant changes being made, aside from a potentially larger design, the prediction throughout the industry is that the Apple Watch Ultra 3 will continue to be priced similarly to the previous models. However, if Apple includes more advanced features like micro-LED display technology or new health sensors, then a slight price bump could be possible. With that said, do consider subscribing to the channel for all the latest news regarding the upcoming Apple Watch Ultra 3. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on post notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one.